Wow, this Canelo versus Caleb Plant fight just got a whole lot more personal. And I'm going to talk about that in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel. Throw the likes on the video. Now, I got to admit, Canelo Alvarez versus Caleb Plant press conference, it was lit. Tensions were very high. I can't wait for the Showtime All Access because it looks like both fighters were mic'd up. So I want to hear what they were saying. And this would be, you know, some juicy stuff. Two obviously didn't click. Canelo pushed him, as you guys see. PR person tried to calm him down. He took a swipe. Boom. It all happened so fast. It all happened so fast. So Canelo didn't like what he had to say. Caleb Plant later did post-fight interviews and said he he believes that Canelo was roid, roid raging, which leads me to the topic of this video. Now, I'll show you guys some clips of what Caleb Plant was saying. He did not hold back anything at all regarding what he felt about Canelo Alvarez. And like I started this video, this situation got a whole lot more personal. Canelo said he's gonna knock him out in seven or less. Caleb Plant was going for the jugular and saying that Canelo, he believes Canelo is a drug cheat. And one thing you have to respect if you're a true fan of the sport of boxing is Caleb Plant is unapologetic. And I can respect as a man, you know, boxing is cool, but I'm a man before any sport or YouTube or anything, a job, anything like that. I'm a man. And man to man, what I could respect from Caleb Plant is the same person he was on social media referring to Eddie Reynoso's gym and what he believes is, is going on. He was that same individual live in the flesh. And I don't think Canelo was used to that. I don't think Canelo, Canelo's not used to people almost because Canelo is such a respected fighter and he's such a good fighter. I think people pay Canelo a lot of respect. And Caleb Plant, he threw that all out the window and was going. I thought he verbally won the, the press conference, in my opinion. That's my honest opinion. I think he verbally won because he was speaking um, more so facts than like I seen Eddie Reynoso. He was saying you got to have balls to be in the gym. And, you know, he was like banging saying that Caleb Plant was him accusing them of being on drugs is trying to insult the country of Mexico. Like, where did you get that from? This is one person who hails from Mexico, but Caleb Plant didn't say anything about everybody from Mexico. And for whatever reason, Eddie, Eddie Reynoso continues to try to double down. And it's, to me, it's a dog whistle. It's a dog whistle when ever Canelo's team is confronted with these PED questions, the tough questions. It, even if you watch the, the press conference, he was asked about the PEDs and it was a long pause before he even started talking. And then if you listen to his answer, it really didn't have anything to do with the actual question. So it is what it is. Caleb Plant, he let it be known. He was the same person on social media. He says he believes that Canelo is cheating. He said Canelo got mad and like, you know, turned it physical by pushing him, putting hands on him. And he did that because of roid rage. These are what Canelo said. So there's going to be an immense scrutiny for this particular fight. I want to see um, what happens from this point, because it's too obvious that the tempers are flaring and these guys can't really be around each other probably much before the actual fight week. It looks like the chaos that ensued at today's press conference was it kind of changed the whole show. They kind of kept it short, did a couple Q and A's and it was just like, there's too much going on. So they kind of wrapped it up. So very interesting stuff, but let me know what you guys think of Caleb plant. He got at Canelo and he was talking greasy. He says, I think your whole team, y'all was cheating. Y'all was cheating. And now he continues. Look, he's showing that, <laughs> that he slapped Canelo. <laughs> this is crazy. And I don't think, look, he slapped him. And people, the Canelo fans were saying he didn't connect. He connected, bro. Look it, I'm showing you. They got, listen, the Canelo Cinnabons got mad on my video 
because I said he connected after I had previously told you live it happened so quick I thought Canelo rolled with the punch but he clearly got touched and that's what infuriated him Caleb Plant says it's roid rage but there's there there would be unless this was a photoshop which we know it's not from an actual photo uh, photographer right he connected that's what it is now you can say whatever you want you know Caleb Plant says his glasses got mushed into his face and you know, I guess the glass depressed on his face and you know created like two little cuts there but they've also come out and said it ain't nothing big he said miss my ass f you b i t <laughs> caleb is <laughs> caleb is hood let's get it i can't wait for this look at style bender style bender in the comments jared heard in the comments clarissa shields in the comments let's go america let's get it caleb plant talking greasy y'all here so i mean these pictures added a lot of tension because i seen a lot of canelo fans they were they were like why is he with andre ward and you know i seen people saying canelo would beat both of them in the same night all this angst and, and emotion so this was just from andre ward and caleb plant training photos and video snippets and then now everything that happened at the press conference, this is going to be a fight not to miss. This is Canelo's first foray back on pay-per-view. Caleb Plant, in my opinion, got Canelo out of character and got him, you know, under his skin. It's a good fight. You know, it's a great fight. It was already a great fight, but with the tensions running, running high and, you know, people mad at him teaming up with Virgil Hunter and Andre Ward for, for those pictures. And then now the pushing and the slapping, they both slapped each other. I mean, this this fight just got a whole lot more exciting. Showtime, y'all got one. Let me know what you guys think. Check at the end of this video. I'm going to show you some of what Caleb Plant says. A lot of pressure on Eddie Reynoso's gym. I've seen some people calling him Petty Reynoso and Petty <laughs> Pednoso and all kinds of names and stuff. And Caleb Plant is shining that light. So there has to be stringent drug testing for this particular fight. And I believe both guys signed up. But with Oscar Valdez recently failing, I feel like no one else from Canelo's gym can fail any type of drug test because that, that just looked too crazy. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, let me know how I did, and listen to Caleb Plant. He's up next. Roll the clip. I need to see that cut on Caleb. Caleb up. Now he got glasses on because he cut because of Canelo. My wife, Jordan. I want to thank all my supporters and believers back home in Tennessee. Root me on. I know that um, you guys have been supporting me for a long time, and I appreciate that. But you know, there's only one thing better than proving people right, and that's proving people wrong. And I've been doing that my whole life. Before going to the Olympics in London as an alternate in 2012, before the Olympic trials, before winning the Golden Globe Nationals, before the WSB, before any Team USA I made, before any national tournament or any regional tournament, as soon as I stepped on the stage, as soon as I came on, they started with it. What I can accomplish, what I can accomplish, what I can do, what I can't do. Yo, get you the see, likes up. Where I'm from, there is no boxing community. There is no other pros that I could look to and be like, man, if he can do it, I can do it. There were no other boxers that I could look at and be like, he did A steps A, B, and C. So this is what I need to do to get it done. I didn't have any of that. I had this, and I had this. You see, I don't do this to be famous. I don't do this to get attention. Because when we first started, it was just me and my dad. And we didn't get any attention. No one, no one believed in us. They certainly think, didn't think that I'd be standing here today. I can remember when we first started, him and my grandfather scrounged up just a little bit of money to open up a little boxing gym, and I mean, it was little. I can remember it was nothing but white tile on the floor. And we had a ring taped off on the floor with nothing but tape, and when we'd spar, we'd stand around and hold hands so that people wouldn't be falling everywhere. When they'd get sweaty, they'd slip and fall, and 
go through the wall and I can remember there's one heavy bag hanging in the corner. You couldn't even work around it. It was hanging so close to the corner. But when you really want something, you don't need all the fanciest things. You don't need the latest technology. Like I said, all you need is and this. So I know a lot of you when I say that I'm going to win November 6th, because I am going to win November 6th. Oh, he talks straight to him. That you don't believe me. But let me explain something to y'all. He looked directly at Kano. All of you who tell me what I can't do and blah, 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 bullshit. A lot of you live believable lives. And you've accomplished believable things. But you see, when I sat out on this, I promised myself that I was going to run this all the way to the top. Where I had no problem crashing and burning and dying on the way. So when I set out, I set out to live an unbelievable life and accomplish unbelievable things. So I don't need you guys to believe in me when I say what I say. Matter of fact, I want you to keep doing what you're doing and keep not believing in me because you're the very reason that I'm here. And like I said, I know that sounds silly to y'all, but you should have seen how silly the faces look when I beat Jerry Odom to win the Golden Glove National, somebody who was in the finals of all three national tournaments that year, knocking everybody out. He was the boogeyman, right? And you should have seen how silly your faces look. And I mean, a lot of you boxing writers, everybody who's going to be seeing this on YouTube and social media. You remember what you said Jose Uscotti was going to do to me? You said he was going to dog walk me. And what happened? He got his ass dog walked. Yes, sir. And he got set on his ass twice. So Miguel Cotto's brother can make you do the chicken dance, but I can't? Yeah, okay. Oh, talk that talk. Again, I don't need you guys to believe in me. I've been doing it my whole life. So mark my words, November 6th, you will hear the words and the new undisputed super middleweight. The only difference is right after that, you'll hear the words and still undefeated. Mark my words. That's funny? You think that's funny? Yeah. yeah. Well, keep laughing. Yeah. Oh my. Keep laughing, motherfucker, because you know when you're going to find out? Dude, Real soon. And you know when you're going to find out? The Don't same time again. everybody Don't else found out. And you know when that was? You know when they found out? When it was too late. That's when they found out. And that's exactly when you're going to find out. Mark my words. You bitch. And you a bitch, too. You know the only difference between you and him? Is he's a fat ass bitch and you a bitch. What the fuck are you going to do? Fuck you. And you a drug cheat. And you a drug cheat. So tell me something. Tell me something. Oscar Valdez can pop positive for something and not get suspended for six months, but he can pop positive for something and get suspended Don't for six months. Don't make excuses. But somehow Don't make excuses team, before the you're fight. You're a cheater. Don't make excuses before the fight. Trial. You got suspended for six months. Hey, you're a cheater. Tell whatever you say. Fuck you. See you November 6th. You. you wanna see oh, something oh, oh, special God. on you. Yeah, you and feel. It. Oh my God! This okay, bro. Caleb says, "Suck my." <laughs> got punished for coming up positive. You didn't get punished for banned substance. Caleb, you tweeted, "Quote: Eddie and Canelo deserve punished. bitch of the year. All of them are suspect." Everything out of that camp is intentional. They have the knowledge, the experience to know better, the resources to have the best in whatever they want. But tacos, beef, and tea is always the reason. Get the F out of here. People don't take this stuff out of confidence. They take it out of fear. I said what I said. I stand by it. So F whoever don't like it. The people in the sport know what's up, but they're the ones who don't speak up or the ones who just cheat just like them. Yeah, I that? think that, um, you know, that's too apparent in our sport today. This is a dangerous enough sport for people to for people to be popping positive for things. And, you know, by the way, I don't think he got punished. So, um, but yeah, that, there's no room for that in our sport. You know, cheating, that, that's not, people don't cheat out of confidence. People cheat out of fear. And, um, you know, he went to trial and he got suspended for six months. So it is what it is. He's a cheater. You, you, you think Canelo's a cheater? Did he get suspended for six months? He did. Okay. Did he, get, did he test positive? 
So you don't have to ask me. It's not a, well, he said he is and he said he ain't. It's not a for discussion. It's not what I say. I'm not making this up. I'm not, you know, I don't want this to be in our sport. So this ain't something that I want. It's not what I said. It's what the commission said. It's what the banned substance list said. So you, you, you can't take that up with me. You have to take that up with him.